A family that prays together, a world that prayer. I would like to welcome you today uh, to this gathering. First, thanking God because of another opportunity to gather together so that we can be able to pray uh, and to seek for the mercies of our Father. Today, we will be praying for all the doctors all over the world that are experiencing challenges and even those who are. Uh, facing through, uh, they are passing through uh, hard times, and uh, we believe that God will, uh, will listen to our intention today. For those who are joining us today, I would like to welcome you and uh, to tell you that Holy Cross Family Ministry is a family of Catholic ministries that inspires, promotes, and fosters the prayer life and the spiritual well-being of families throughout the world. Our work is focused in uh, three pillars, that is family and marriage, prayer, and faith. 
So uh, all these, we are meeting the commission that we help families pray. And today, this is one way of how we are helping families to pray through this prayer meeting. So our program today will be as follows. We will have an opening song. And then after the opening song, we'll have the Divine Mercy Chaplet. And then the litany. Afterwards, we'll have the reflection and uh, any announcement. And uh, lastly, we will conclude by the closing, uh, the closing remark and also a blessing from our director, Holy Cross Family Ministries Kenya, Father Joseph Owori, CSC. So kindly mute your microphones and uh, as we start, welcome. Heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Lord, 
You will come up here to the dead and living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and the blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. Our response today is have mercy on us and all the doctors. For the sake of, of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and all the doctors. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and all the doctors. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and all the doctors. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and all the doctors. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and all the doctors. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and all the doctors. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and all the doctors. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and all the doctors. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and all the doctors. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and all the doctors. I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dear beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sort of compassion, have mercy on us and all the doctors. For the sake of his sort of compassion, have mercy on us and all the doctors. For the sake of his sort of compassion, have mercy on us and all the doctors. For the sake of his sort of compassion, have mercy on us and all the doctors. For the sake of his sort of compassion, have mercy on us and all the doctors. For the sake of his sort of compassion, have mercy on us and all the doctors. For the sake of his sort of compassion, have mercy. Have mercy on us and all the doctors. For the sake of his sort of compassion. Have mercy on us and all the doctors. For the sake of his sort of compassion. Have mercy on us and all the doctors. For the sake of his sort of compassion. Have mercy on us and all the doctors. Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. Sana. Bwana wetu Yesu Kristo kwa ajili ya malipizi ya dhambi zetu na dhambi za dunia nzima kwa ajili ya mateso makali ya Bwana wetu Yesu Kristo utumie sisi na madaktari wote kwa ajili ya mateso makali ya Bwana wetu Yesu Kristo utumie sisi na madaktari wote kwa ajili ya mateso makali ya Bwana wetu Yesu Kristo utumie sisi na madaktari wote kwa ajili ya mateso makali ya Bwana wetu Yesu Utumie sisi na madaktari wote kwa ajili ya mateso makali ya Bwana wetu Yesu Kristo. sisi na madaktari wote kwa ajili ya mateso makali ya Bwana wetu Yesu Kristo. sisi na madaktari wote kwa ajili ya mateso makali ya Bwana wetu Yesu Kristo. sisi na madaktari wote kwa ajili ya mateso makali ya Bwana wetu Yesu Kristo. sisi na madaktari wote Utumie sisi na madaktari wote kwa ajili ya mateso makali ya Bwana wetu Yesu Kristo. sisi na madaktari wote Nina kutolea mwili na damu roho na uhuru wa mwanao mpenzi sana Bwana wetu Yesu Kristo kwa ajili ya malipizi ya dhambi zetu 
na dhambi za dunia nzima for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and all the doctors for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and all the doctors for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and all the doctors for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and all the doctors for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and all the doctors for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and all the doctors for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and all the doctors for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and all the doctors for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and all the doctors for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and all the doctors holy god holy mighty one holy immortal one have mercy on us and all the doctors holy god holy mighty one holy immortal one have mercy on us and all the doctors. Holy God, holy mighty one, holy immortal one, have mercy on us and all the doctors. O blood and water, which gushed forth from the heart of Jesus as a fount of mercy for us, I trust in you. O blood and water, which gushed forth from the heart of Jesus as a fount of mercy for us, I trust in you. O blood and water, which gushed forth from the heart of Jesus as a fountain of mercy for us, I trust in you. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ hear us. Christ graciously hear us. God the Father of heaven, have mercy on us. God the Son, Redeemer of the world, have mercy on us. God the Holy Spirit, have mercy on us. Holy Trinity, one God, have mercy on us. Divine mercy gushing forth from the bosom of the Father. I trust in you. Divine mercy, greatest attribute of God. I trust in you. Divine mercy, comprehensible mystery. I trust in you. Divine mercy, found gushed gushing forth from the mystery of the most blessed trinity. I trust in you. Divine mercy, unfathomable by an intellect human and angelic. I trust in you. Divine mercy from which wells forth all life and happiness. I trust in you. Divine mercy better than the heavens. I trust in you. Divine mercy source of miracles and wonders. I trust in you. Divine mercy encompassing the whole universe. I trust in you. Divine mercy descending to earth on the person of the incarnate word. I trust in you. Divine mercy which flowed out from the open moon of the heart of Jesus. I trust in you. Divine mercy enclosed in the heart of Jesus for us and especially for sinners. I trust in you. Divine mercy unfathomed in the institution of the sacred host. I trust in you. Divine mercy in the founding of the Holy Church. I trust in you. Divine mercy in the sacrament of holy baptism. I trust in you. Divine mercy in our justification through Jesus Christ. I I trust in you. Divine mercy accompanying us through the whole, our whole life. I trust in you. Divine mercy embracing us, especially at the hour of our death. I trust in you. Divine mercy enjoying us with immortal life. I trust in you. Divine mercy accompanying us every moment of our life. I trust in you. Divine mercy shielding us from the fires of hell. I trust in you. Divine mercy in the conversion of heartless sinners. I trust in you. Divine mercy astonished for angels incomprehensible to saints. I trust in you. Divine mercy and fathomed in all the mysteries of God. I trust in you. Divine mercy lifting us out of every misery. I trust in you. Divine mercy source of our happiness and joy. I trust in you. Divine mercy in calling us forth from nothingness to existence. I trust in you. Divine mercy embracing all the works of his hands. I trust in you. Divine mercy Crowning of all of God's handiwork. I trust in you. Divine mercy in which we are all immersed. I trust in you. Divine mercy, sweet relief of anguished hearts. I trust in you. Divine mercy, mercy only hope and despairing souls. I trust in you. Divine mercy, response of heart, peace, and amidst 
Yeah. I, I trust, trust in you. Divine mercy, the light of ecstasy of holy souls. I trust in you. Divine mercy, inspiring hope against all hope. I trust in you. Let us pray. Eternal God, in whom mercy is endless and the treasury of compassion inexhaustible, looking kind, look kindly upon us and increase your mercy in us, that in difficult moments you might not despair nor become despondent, but with great confidence submit ourselves to your holy will, which is love and mercy itself. O oh, incom incomprehensible and limitless mercy divine, Extol and adore you worthily, who can? Sub supreme attribute of Almighty God, you are the sweet hope of sinful man. Into one him yourselves, unite stars, earth, and sea, in, and in one accord, thankfully and fervently sing of the incomprehensible divine mercy. We pray all this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Welcome to today's reflection. Doctors have both gifts and skills granted by God and they use them to serve other people. They have the privilege to take care of others at the most difficult times in their lives. In doing this, there are trials and challenges along the way because being a doctor is more than a job, it's a vocation. Let's call God's divine mercy through the help of the Holy Spirit that doctors all over the world may be salt and light in the workplace for they are called to shine light in patients' lives, to serve God by striving to get their diagnosis right, doing the best they can for their patient by going extra miles for it is God they are serving. And he, deserve, and he demands high standards of care, compassion, honesty, and integrity. And that they may approach their work in joy by doing everything without grumbling or arguing. That they may be able to speak about issues by standing and influencing what is right from both biblical and medical perspective. That they may give generously we all know that doctors all over the world earn a, earn a healthy salary. Let's pray that they give generously to God's work and also they may devote themselves to serving the poor. And in this way, they will be, able, they will be open to God's calling in their lives without looking at negative factors, such as working in undeveloped countries alongside other things. And also for those doctors who are bold in their faith, that they may have the courage to share the faith amongst themselves and with the patients. We pray that this act of grace that we are doing based on trust and forgiveness will reach out to every single doctor out there. The family that prays together stays together. Thank you so much, uh, Mole Tokal, for good uh, uh, reflection for our doctors. We need to continue praying for them at this particular time when we are experiencing uh, the pandemic of coronavirus. So before the concluding uh, remarks and also the final blessing, I would like to say that next Friday we will be having uh, launch of the month of the rosary so you'll join us live uh, on facebook also uh, but you will be uh, launching the month of the rosary so kindly also join us at uh, on facebook hcfm dandora so don't for uh, don't forget uh, uh, that that Friday we will be having that moment and also we'll have that moment of divine mercy and also if you can check, I have a magazine, the fourth issue, the fourth issue of uh, Holy Cross Family Ministries Kenya, and uh, it's already out. If you need one, it's 200 shillings. You can call on our number 
0242-2196. Or visit our offices opposite to Shirika Secondary School, Dandora, Phase 4, Nairobi Region. Uh, my name is Samuel Washira, public relations persons. I've been your host. I welcome, I take this opportunity to welcome you all and continue sharing the link when, uh, as you get it, share it depending with the person that, uh, the family that we are praying for that day. I would like to welcome Father Joseph Owori, CSC, the director of uh, Holy Cross, uh, of the Holy Cross Family Ministry, Kenya. Haribu. Uh, thank you so much, all of you that have joined us today uh, in this divine mercy prayer for all the families. And especially today when we are looking and praying for all the doctors in the various parts of, of the country and also the various parts of the world. As our dear sister has shared with us, some are experiencing many difficulties some may be physical, emotional, social, and also political challenges. But also in those moments, we want to seek for God's mercy. As today we have uh, expressed our desire before the Lord that God may console them, comfort them, and also guide them. We continue seeking for your intercession for the remaining days of this week until we meet next Friday that you pray for at least one of the doctors that you know, the nurses too, wherever they may be, these health workers, wherever they may be, they are from our families and we want to dedicate them to the Lord in our own capacity. For the family that prays together, stays together, ask God that, may, that he may strengthen them in their vocation, in their calling, but also in their profession. So let's join together in this prayer to pray for them for a special grace from God, especially amid is also this pandemic, this corona, where some have even lost their lives, that the Lord may be with them and bless them. Father in heaven, we come to you humbled by the devastating effects of various situations in our world. And yet we know as the maker of this universe that you are always in control. Nothing really surprises you and you hold the world in your hands. Lord Jesus, we ask for your protection over our healthcare workers the doctors whom we are praying for today in our country and the various parts of the world. Many are working with insufficient protective equipment. Lord, please provide for their needs. We pray that you protect them from various diseases and especially from COVID-19 that has affected every part of the world in this day. We pray for their stress and energy levels, that you would fill them with your mighty strength and power. Father, we think especially of health workers and doctors who are serving in countries where they aren't respected and instead wrongly blamed and attacked for the spread of the various diseases and pandemics in their countries. We pray for them and for their families May you send your angels, especially St. Raphael, St. Michael, and St. Gabriel, to guard and protect them. May all countries enact laws to protect those serving on the front line, especially, and especially during this pandemic situation. We pray that they will choose to persist in their good work and be appreciated and respected for all that they do for the various families in the world. Lord, you are our refuge and strength. You are an ever-present help in times of trouble, as you tell us in Psalm, 1, Psalm 46, verse 1. And we trust in your goodness and mercy. 
We pray that various diseases and even this pandemic, COVID-19, will stop spreading. We lift up all the doctors affected by neglected tropical diseases and all vulnerable populations also into your hands. Lord, thank you for hearing their cries. Thank you for listening to their needs. We ask you to attend to them. We pray that you will provide for them through this difficult time. We pray for a safe and effective cure to be provided in the various situations. Lord, thank you so much for hearing our prayers and for your comforting words in John chapter 16, verse 33, which reminds us of your sovereignty. In this world, you have trouble, but take heart. I have overcome the world. We place all our burdens and cares on you, Lord, knowing you are great and you can carry them all. Jesus, our Savior, you came to seek what is lost and to heal what is wounded. We thank you for the wonderful vocation that you have given to the doctors to work with you to heal the bodies and minds of people. Give them patience when their patients are difficult. Give them strength when their patients are tired, even when their bodies are also overworked. Give them eyes to see you in the sufferings of their brothers and sisters whom they attend to. Give them the right words to comfort and console, especially the dying. In our various families, we lift each one of them. Let's have some time in silence to remember the few doctors that we know who have attended to us in our families, for our bodies and our lives. I want to remember especially for Veronica Chiza and Daniel Chiza, who are attending to various patients in Uganda, that God may bless their lives also. And for everyone that we have prayed for, may God answer our prayers on their behalf, for their lives, and for their vocation. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. You are blessed among women and blessed is the fruit of your own Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. The Lord be with you. In your spirit. The Almighty God bless and protect you and all the doctors, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Stay in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. Sí, bueno.